Okay friends, we're going to be making our really cool bubble drawing that you can actually pose with um, and take pictures with, which would be really, really fun. Or you could just put it on your wall and it could be pretty to look at. So all you'll need for this is a piece of white paper and some colorful markers, as well as a pair of scissors to cut out your work when you are finished. You can also use um, a Sharpie if you want, or anything that's a black marker, maybe a skinny marker for outlining things. I'm going to be using one. You don't have to. Um, you could just use pencil instead. Um, and you could also just use pencil to start with um, and then add color as well. I'm going to jump right in without using pencil. I'm just going to go straight for it with my marker. So. The first thing we're going to do is make our bubble wand. So we want to make the wand that the bubbles are coming out of first. So I'm going to start over on the far side of my paper and I'm going to draw the shape. So I'm going to do a straight line and I want it to be kind of a big one. And then I'm going to do a sort of oval shape because usually the top of the bubble wands are sort of oval shape. And then I'm going to come down on the other side of it like that and connect it. So it's kind of like um, a really skinny spoon almost. Now on the inside here I'm going to draw another oval so that it actually looks like a wand so we can see how it's open. So it should have sort of a bubble wand sort of look to it. Um, I'm also going to add, personally I'm going to add a few little lines and textures because if you've ever seen a bubble wand you know that there's some textures on it, some little ridges. So I'm going to draw a few little ridges. Again, you can be doing this in pencil. You do not have to do this in marker right now. If you're a little like nervous and you're just afraid you're going to mess up, I really recommend do, always starting with pencil and then doing things with marker, but I'm just being bold today and I'm just going for it. All right, so we have our bubble wand. Now I want to start making some bubbles on the page, but the other thing I want to do is have a bubble that looks like it's blowing out of it, okay? So we all know what a bubble shape would be. It would be like a circle shape. So I'm going to draw like freehand circle shape. Um, if you're a little nervous about freehand circles, you can always find round things like lids or things like that in your house, and you could trace them. If you run, make sure your circles are a little bit more accurate. You could totally do that. Um, you could even overlap some, because sometimes bubbles stick together. Sometimes they overlap with each other. So however you want to do your bubbles, you just want to fill your page with some bubbles. But I also, like I said, want a bubble that's coming out of it. So when a bubble's coming out of a bubble wand, it's not just a circle that pops out of the wand. It actually um, is kind of growing out of the wand. So from the one side, I'm doing a curved line. And then from the bottom, I'm doing another curved line going the other direction. Do you see how this cur line curves down? This line curves up a little bit. Now I'm going to connect them with sort of a sort of circle shape like that. So now it looks like there's something that's coming out, like growing out of the bubble wand. So that's going to be my bubble that's blowing out of it. And I'm going to continue to draw some different circles. I like when they, some of them overlap too. I also like bubbles that have bubbles attached to it. So let me show you how to do that. So I have one bubble here. I'm going to draw like kind of some bumps coming off of the bubble. So it's kind of like the bubble have bubbles coming on it. So um, you can leave them just like bubbles like that, or you can have some of them be a little transparent too, so that it's like kind of like they're bubbled up together. And I'm just gonna add a couple more. And I think, I think I'll add one more here like that. Great. So I have a lot of bubbles here and now I want to make some of these bubbles a little bit colorful. When you look at bubbles, they have a lot of beautiful sort of color streaking through it. And um, you can just use markers or if you don't have markers, you can use color pencils, crayons, um, whatever you have, whatever you have. Um, you can also consider, we've done this many times now, you could consider getting some water as well 
and um, adding a little bit of water to your um, markers after you put them down and that'll just make them a little smeary that can be really cool too so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to add some streaks of color on the edges I'm not going to fill in the bubbles because it's usually just sort of on the edges that you see all those bright colors so I'm going to take some and I'm just going to do a few little streaks of yellow like that just along the edge and maybe I'll do it on a few since I have the yellow open I think yellow is really pretty it makes things look bright so I'm just gonna put a few yellow streaks maybe not on all of them but maybe a bunch of them and this is the way I like to work I like to do a few at a time just so that you know I'm getting a lot done at once but if you're someone who likes to just do one completely before you move on to the next one that's fine you can do that and now I'm going to switch to another color I'm going to add a few more streaks of color to my bubbles I'm going to do it to a certain ones and I'm trying to copy the curve of the bu bubble so whatever shape I'm it is I'm trying to copy that curve and I'm doing some lines are fat some lines are thin I'm not worrying too much about it being perfect and I'm not worrying that it's you know if I go on top of some that I already did that's fine I'm not stressing about it I'm just kind of letting it go and I'm gonna switch to another color do a few more streaks in here just a few more streaks and I'm just going to keep doing this until I like the results until I like the way it's coming together I don't want to do every single color in every bubble because that'll be like a little too much it'll get kind of busy and filled up and kind of start looking a little too, bit too messy so I'm just trying to pick a few colors per bubble and if I'm done with certain colors I've already done at least a few in one I'm not doing any more so I'm gonna do a little bit more here some streaks coming out that way now like for example this one I already did three colors I already have um, yellow pink and blue so I think I'm gonna not do any more in there and I think I might do a few more somewhere else and this one I also have three there so I'm trying not to go too busy with it because then it just looks messy and maybe I'll put a little orange in one of these let's see this one doesn't have a lot happening this one can use a little something all right so once you have your bubbles you think pretty well colored in nicely just on the outside edge because we want them to have a see-through feeling also still so I'm trying not to color the inside or anything like that um, I want to color this wand because this wand is going to be just super plain and boring if it's just sitting by itself so I'm going to take this nice dark purple color just so that it stands out looks a little bit different I'm going to fill in this wand with it so that it's actually a nice colored wand and um, notice that I didn't color in that part you can either um, color it in or you could leave it so it looks like the bubble is going through it so that it's on the other side or maybe if you have a lighter shade of that color you could kind of do it with a lighter shade so it looks like the bubbles kind of going through it a little bit all right so when you get to this point you have the choice of either stopping and cutting it out and being done with it or we could do that step where you add a little bit of water to it to let the marker smear around so I'm going to show you what that looks like in just a second just in case you want to do it all right so I got myself a little bit of water I got myself a brush and if you need to put a little bit of marker um, on top of some foil and wet it and then do it just because it might not smear very well without it you can totally do that so I'm just going to take a little bit of water on my brush and I'm just going to dab it on top of what's already there and I can see that the marker is starting to bleed and blend a little bit not a lot 
but a little bit, but that's okay because I don't want it to be super messy. And I, I don't want to fill in the whole thing either. I want to make sure I definitely leave some white showing. And um, like I said, if you don't like this look and you don't like having them bleed together and you just want to leave them as marker, that's totally fine. I'm just showing you as an option of something you might want to do just to see what it looks like. You could even test it on a tester paper first. Um, and again, if it's not bleeding the way you want, you can always add some marker to some foil, add water to it, and that will give you sort of a paint effect that you could add to anything that you wanted. If you want to give it a little bit more of a sort of round, bubbly feel. And of course, you do not have to do this at all. You could leave it totally just marker filled. So I'm going to do a few of them like this, and then I'm going to leave a few that are not painted in, just so you can see the difference. And if you decide to do this, this might be something you want to um, practice first, maybe on a scrap paper before you commit to your final bubble design, because if it doesn't look the way you want it, you don't really want to have to restart completely again. You'd like to be able to, I'm sure. Um, you know, make some experiments first before you finally make your decision. So, as soon as you're done, if you chose to do any of this kind of thing that I'm doing, then great. If you chose not to, that's fine too. And when it's dry, that's when we're going to cut it. So I'm going to give this a second to dry and we'll be right back. Okay guys, this is dry, so when I touch it, it's not getting on my hands. So I'm going to take this and what I'm going to do is cut it out. So let me show you how I'm going to do that cutting process. Um, you can see all of my really cool kindness rocks. My son and I made these and we're going to be uh, walking around on a trail and leaving them places. So that's what all of that is. In case you're curious, but I wanted to make sure I pulled back so you could see it. Um, so here is how I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut around this, not super close, but close enough that it's going to end up creating a really interesting outline shape. So I'm going to kind of slowly cut around this. This might take some time. Notice I'm not cutting right up on the edge. I'm leaving a little bit of a white border. And that's what you want to do when you do this. So for this one, I'm going to go back up. And back around again. And I have like this space I could go into. I could go into a little bit, but I don't want to cut out each individual bubble. I want the bubbles to sort of stay together. So I'm going to try to leave some white in between them. And I'm focusing mostly on the outside edge of the bubbles. So I'm going around here and around here. And you can see I'm leaving all of this white here so that they don't get disconnected. I want these bubbles to stay together, but I do want them to feel like they're kind of floating and popping around. And if I kind of cut it out in a rectangle or leave it in the rectangle shape it's in, it feels a little less like they're floating around. And you can decide, I mean, if you want to get really close in there, and cut out even more. You can try to cut out more. You just want to keep them all together. So if you can figure out how to do that without making them all fall apart, then that's awesome. More power to you. So I'm going to go up this way and around. And there we go. I have them all sort of spread out. This paper can just get thrown away. It's scrap paper. Um, and we have our awesome bubbles that look like they're floating, but they're all still connected together. Isn't that so cool? And again, I didn't, I left the mi middle parts white because I want them to feel transparent, focused on just the edges. Sometimes I did a little bit of bleeding with the colors. You can see how some of the colors are bleeding and some didn't really get any. So you can kind of decide if you want to do, leave you know paint them all in with some water do none of them do some and not others just like I did um, and now you have this sort of fun pretend bubble wand you can hold on to and make it look like you're blowing bubbles so check out my picture so you can at the end so you can see what that looks like and happy art making